So, a who markers. So you don't even know how much times on YouTube I've on YouTube I've seen these art art YouTubers use the brand by Ohu. They're supposed to be amazing alternatives to Copic markers since Copic markers can be five to eight dollars for one marker. So I went in and bought with my own money the 60 pack of Ohu markers. So today I'm going to be putting it to the test. Are these Ohu marker brands good? Are they worth the price? And do they live up to my expectations? So before we get into it, let's just look at the outside. So it comes in this pretty sturdy, um, pretty nice marker case. Has a little handle for you to carry it. Seems pretty good quality. It has a zipper around the side. It says Ohu. Um, it's great for like if you're going somewhere and like you're going to grandparents' house or something and you just want to draw. You don't have to bring like a big pencil case. Comes in this marker case. And ooh, look at these pretty colors. This, oh, these colors. Yes, these are so good. Oh, these are. Oh, I love these colors. So I did receive these two to three days ago, and I did kind of already use them. That's why there's blue on the back of this swatch sheet. Um, but I'm gonna be reviewing them for you to, and to let you decide if you like them. So these colors come in a wide variety of reds, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, purples, pinks, skin tones, grays, black. A black weight um so this is the 60 pack plus one colorless blender set um i'm really really excited and i'm let's just start drawing so i did two things i did colors that might go well together and i did a full on swatch you always want to swatch the colors because it might show up differently on different pieces of paper and the swatch sheets that they give you aren't always the exact same color as the ink these two remind me of highlighters very vibrant um but comes with a wide color selection just really amazing um yeah the caps of the markers are pretty close to the actual ink so kudos to a who for that that's actually pretty good that one's a little off but pretty pretty decent um so these are the colors that might go together i did like nine to ten different ones so and then i wrote like the name like the numbers like 9 85 and 70. these markers they used to have color names but after the redesign, they ditched the names and just gave the number names like 85, 9, 17. I love the color selections. They are so pretty. Nice range of teals, greens, yellows, reds. Just amazing. But now I want to test them for y'all. So let's go. jump right into it but i'm gonna show you the barrel so it says ohu art markers and it has these little like eh, i don't even know what they're called but they basically direct you to which side is which so like the one side like this says broad the broad side means chisel nib i guess um because that side is the chisel nib um and then the other side is a fine nib this Chisel nib 
is pretty big, covers quite a lot of space. Um, and then the this has like a gray thing to let you know that this is the um, bullet nib. But on the little director thingy, it says fine nib. Um, but really, really c good stuff. Um, yeah. And they, like I mentioned earlier, they had, wait, did I mention this earlier? I don't know. But if I did, I'm going to tell you again. If I didn't, they had a redesign. So they used to have like the square lids and I used to have these things on them to make them not roll. They still don't roll away if you put it down, but yeah. And they used, because they were square capped, they used to be able to fit the cap on the other end. And that, but now they don't. Um, like, what, 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 why, why would you want to get rid of that? That's amazing. What? Anyways, let's just keep drawing. I know, I know, I could have done better, but, you know, I don't know, um, but I definitely think these Ohu markers are very good, they're very good quality, they, they're just amazing whether you're buying them for alternative to Copic markers because they are 5 to $8, they are not cheap, I can tell you that right now. But whether you're buying them as an alternative for Copic markers or or because you just want markers to draw with, etc. Um, these are very good markers. You can't go wrong with them. I, if I knew about these before I did, I would have like every single Who marker out there being sold because these are just amazing. Like. <clears throat> These are so great. I can't even. Uh, there are so many packs of markers you can get. Pros, so many color options. So awesome. None of them dried out yet. Sometimes they dry out when you buy them. Like, not these, but like other markers. Um, wide color selection. Amazing markers, just in general. Con, you can't refill them. But I feel like a lot of the markers that I've had weren't refillable. Yes, it's fun to have. It's cool to have your markers be refillable. But to me, it doesn't really matter that much. I It takes a while. When I use my markers, it takes a while for them to run out. Um, I've had markers from years ago. And, they not, and some of them have dried out, but not a lot of them. Um... But yeah, these are just really, really good markers. I, 
I was blown away when I used them, when I first used them. Like, it was crazy. They they are so amazing, guys. You have to buy them. You can go to ahoo.com. Like, right after watching this video, you have to go. They're so, they don't even just sell markers. They sell notebooks. They sell, like, gel pens. Make sure to stay artsy. See you guys in my next video. Bye! Sorry some of the letters are small, but basically I'm just saying definitely go buy them. They're worth it whether you use markers a ton or just a tiny bit. They are worth it.